One of the beauties of New York City is that it's filled with wonderful businesses. Small businesses owned by families, generation after generation, making great quality food and providing great quality services. But during the pandemic, it's been a very hard time for many of those small businesses. And that's why I put a lot of importance for people to support your small businesses. And today we're gonna quickly visit one small business for this mini live video. It's Ali Doro in the neighborhood of Soho. Absolutely one of my favorite Italian sandwich eateries in all of New York. So join me for a quick live video tour of Ali Doro and I'm gonna eat a nice great sandwich here in Soho, New York. So welcome everyone to Ali Doro. I'm Ariel, you're watching Urbanist, and so let's go inside and meet my friend Walter, learn a little bit about the sandwiches, and then we're gonna do some eating. Let me know where you're watching from, and let me know, what's your favorite type of Italian sandwich? Maybe Italian from Italy or Italian American? Let me know. So here we are, Ali Doro. Shelly, I'm back indeed. Welcome everyone. Let's have a nice Italian sandwich. So here we are. Hello, Walter. Hello. How How's it doing? going? So this is Walter. <laughs> and uh, let me give you an elbow bump. <laughs> and Walter has been running this business for quite a while. Yeah, over yeah. 20 years now. Over 20 years, yeah. Yeah, from uh, 2001. And um, you know that I have the business here. And you've been making Italian sandwiches the whole time. <laughs> and I, I covered you guys about like two years ago or three years ago. Oh this yeah, about. I was so blown away when I went to have your sandwiches. They were really amazing. Yeah. Fresh, you know, fresh ingredients. That's what. Uh, that's the key. Right. Right. You know? So let me let me show a little bit more of the store. Yes. And you have all these Italian decorations, which yeah, you mentioned that you made. Yeah, this is an original uh, arazzo from Venice. Yeah. You know, and those two are the, a very old arazzo from Venice. Oh. These things, are, I don't know, it's like old. I don't even know, think what people usually don't know about it, but these are a piece of art. You know, to make this is an original Venetian arazzi. Let me see if uh, people are able to hear me, sorry. Everyone, are you guys able to hear me? Uh, I'm not sure why sound might be going out. Let me know. If you guys are able to hear me, maybe there's a technical issue. All right. So, okay. So what were you saying? Yeah, so, these, these two are yeah. ori original Venetian Arazzi. They, they is different than the Arazzi that they usually do now. Oh. They usually use like a thick kind of uh, uh, threads, yeah. you know, usually that's what you see in an Arasi, you see the Venetian style instead is not like that. Oh. If you look closely, they are very tiny, 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 tiny threads. Tiny. You know how long it takes to make one of these? Uh, yeah. So long, because when you use the big one, uh, you can make a huge poster, Right. let's say, with corners and everything, and uh, it, just, it takes time that too, right? But you usually need those big threads, so it's not like this one. They're like That's millimeters. Very and then you also have here. You made the yeah, little made these, uh, Venetian <laughs> window. <laughs> yes, that's uh, my Venetian. Uh, oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And then over here you have all these old posters of, of Italian movies. Yeah, Italian or Italian uh, uh, directors. Yeah. This is a very good movie. Blow up, I heard. Yeah, that's uh, if you've never seen it, you had to see that movie. Yeah. It's great. Casanova, you know, unfortunately, you know, Venetian. <laughs> Venetian, yeah. Plus the guy that unfortunately died uh, was living not far from here. Heath Ledger, did he ever come visit the store? No, you unfortunately know? not. Okay. Uh, you know, but we didn't even have time. He was here for a little bit, not for that, I don't think for that long either. Mm. You know, but he had a, the, his uh, place was here in Seoul. Two hands, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So and they are under the Tuscan sun. Under the Tuscan sun, then we got the Federico Fellini, <laughs> La Dolce Vita. Oh, that's amazing. Great film, <laughs> also. You got the Cinema Paradiso. What well, another amazing film. Yes. And uh, you have all these... Uh, and then uh, yeah. you had to show some of these. <laughs> Those are the, my wife, uh, yeah. a little. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, you're Italian. I love sign language. <laughs> Making fun of the Italian. Uh, yeah, we, we always do that. Yeah. With all the 
a different one. That's funny too. Oh, the, the kid. This is a younger you. Yeah, that's me and, and my wife. wife well, your wife, okay. Was she also involved in the business? Yeah, she was always works. She's still going to be here this week. Oh, this week. cool, cool, cool. She's coming to help out. Oh, awesome. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> that's a good one too. And then you have all these products. Where do, how do you choose the yeah, products? Yeah, no, uh, this is a few different company. They, they come, uh, uh, they all come from Italy, yes. all from Italian in Brooklyn. This uh, company, they make uh, uh, cookies uh, in Brooklyn. Oh, I see. Fresh every week uh, and we get them. Biscotti, wow. Yeah, and this the, is uh, really... Nutella, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're really good. They're going very well. The Nutella, the raspberry, they're amazing. You know, and they're fresh. They're fr you know, fresh, you, you can tell. Yeah. You know? Then we got some Italian pasta. And I noticed there's a lot, been a whole lot it's more Italian cool businesses tomato. popping up. Yeah, yeah, A lot more Italians are coming in New York. Yeah, yeah. You know, food is good. Uh, right. People like Italian food. Uh, yeah. I think, not because I'm Italian, but I think more than, uh, it, it, it's easier for somebody yeah. that grew up in mac and cheese. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> you know, spaghetti and meatballs as well. Yeah. Yeah. To like Italian food in general, right, right. Before it goes to a French fancy restaurant, uh, where uh, it's going to be a little harder to understand flavors and taste of whatever they're making. Yeah, it's too much sauce uh, involved. Uh, people are not used to do that. Instead, of when you Italian, uh, if you eat uh, strawberries ice cream, it tastes like strawberries. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it, it's not. Instead, of when you eat uh, a, a, a strawberries ice cream American. It is more like a strawberry mishik. Yeah. Right? That's the difference between the two. You know, Italian really go for the original flavor. You, want, you eat that, you taste that. Yeah, exactly. Instead, of the, the, um, the art, everybody else, uh, they had to make uh, some kind of variation. We don't. We like you to taste the way it's supposed to. Mm. In a way, we're much closer to sushi. Mm -hmm. In a way, where uh, they want you to taste the flavor of the fish as, as natural as possible. That's what I like about your sandwiches. You, you know, really get to taste the quality of the mozzarella and also the roast beef. Yes. Show me the roast beef. Oh, yeah. yeah. You have to look at yeah. come over here. Your handmade roast beef. Yeah, this is handmade roast beef. Wow, that is beautiful. And you said it's a, like a three-day process? No, it's four hours four, cooking. Four hours cooking, yeah. Four hours cooking for this one to make it... a. Uh, like perfectly cooked inside, uh, you know, that is like this. And uh, you taste yeah. a little bit before, you know, how oh, tender yeah. it is uh, and melt in your mouth as you're eating it, you know. And I have a sandwich waiting there for me, so stay tuned for the end of this video. <laughs> uh, and then you have mozzarella here. Yeah, we've got a fresh mozzarella. It's made yeah. every day. Yeah. And I pick it up myself directly at, uh, at the, uh, the bread. At the mozzarella place. And then here are all the different uh, sandwiches. And then with different new sandwiches. Uh, because I cannot fit everything in the menu. Right, right. right. So yeah, very big. <laughs> the DiCaprio. DiCaprio after Leonardo. Yes. The Evangelista from the famous uh, uh, yeah. model. Okay. The Godfather. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Stallone. <laughs> you know. Joe the Pesci. Joe Pesci. Caravaggio, because we like art too. Oh man, of course, the Caravaggio. Exactly. Must be a very dark, intense sa uh, sandwich. Mm -hmm. We got uh, the canaletto. <laughs> yeah. You okay, know. Okay. And then we got, uh, you know, the new, uh, the new one is the one that you're going to eat. Oh. Is cool. the alcohol. I'm gonna eat the alcapo, cool. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, we got, uh, we got the Godfather, we need to have alcapo too. It's awesome you're paying tribute to Italian American culture as well. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a good thing. So we got uh, Pavarotti as a sandwich. So we got a lot of the names. Uh, you got a from, huge uh, list as well. Yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna take one of these. So yes, you yeah. have to. That's awesome, man. And uh, anything else you wanted to mention about inside the store that people would like to know or uh, come. would you like to sh shout out? Yeah, yeah. just come over. Uh, we 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 here Monday to, to Saturday. Okay. You know, 11.30 to 4. So we know... <laughs> You know, you know it's the, fresh sandwiches, it's fresh sandwiches because uh, you don't sell day old bread or anything. No, 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 yeah. no, no. Everything, fresh bread. Uh, yeah. everything is fresh every day. That's awesome. You know, and uh, come over, try us. You know, we got uh, other ingredients too that you can buy. We got some new chips from Italy oh. with white truffles. 
Oh my God. You know, you may want to try one of those. They're very good. I'm going to buy one of those. You know, and these yeah. also we support in local area. Yeah. So we got, uh, let me see, this one is more natural. This is the Norfolk potato chips. Mmm. Oh, those all look good. Yeah, they're very natural. Oh, Long Island. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. From Long Island, from nearby where I have the house over there. And if you look at the ingredients, uh, check the ingredients. What? Please. Just potatoes, sunflower oil, and salt. Just three ingredients. So it's so, not, it's so not a bunch know, of other crazy things. Not, the guy, the guy yeah. owns the potato farm. Oh. And what he does with the potatoes? Make also potato chips. Okay, you, his own potatoes. you were so kind to cover the sandwich. We're gonna, I don't eat soup, but I'm going to buy potato chips because I want to try them. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to buy uh, this one and then the truffle one. Yeah, you have the one. Yeah. Very good. That's amazing. So oh, cool. I have exactly $5. $5. That's $5. it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Put it <laughs> All right. So now we'll go outside and, and eat the sandwich. Oh, don't close everything. Eh? We got the... Uh... Oh, you ordered already. Right? See, you got smart. I got smart, man. Yeah, no, that's it. Don't, don't, don't wait the last moment and hope it. And I had a good sandwich today. Which one you got? Nazi, but I put it on. Outside, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you could give me like 10 minutes to eat outside. Yeah, over here. Because I need fresh roast I'm going to get it on Wednesday. When is the first day that you eat? Walter. Yeah, give him a taste of the roast beef. Walter, you can. before I eat the sandwich, yes. what's the Instagram so people can follow it? The Instagram uh, has to be uh, at uh, Alidoro NYC. Alidoro NYC. NYC, I believe it's that one. Awesome. All right. sure. Let me grab out. You know, unfortunately, they're not going to show much of this one on the Instagram. Yeah. Most of the stuff is from 39 and the other location. Which is still open until 4. They're still on open. Weekends. Uh, yeah. On weekend. weekdays. Weekdays, uh, Monday to Friday over there. Cool. Here we open on Saturday too. Okay. So if you need, uh, you know, sandwiches for a little gathering together, come over. And we're making on Saturday too. Lara asked, uh, how do you call cook the tartufo? Do you have you tartufo? We try to not cook tartufo. Okay. Okay. You know, tartufo yeah. you you shouldn't cook. Yeah. It's better fresh on top of it or anything. Ah, interesting. You know, that's uh, that's the best way to do it. Uh, even even when you make a pasta, yeah. you make the pasta, the truffle you put it after, yeah. on top of it. You shred it on top of it uh, because of cooking the truffle it, it it kills the flavor. Ah. It doesn't really like even when you make a risotto, you make the risotto, then you put truffles on. It. And that's why you you have a cold truffle cream. You, you have a cold yeah. truffle cream. That's yeah. the one that you're getting. The sandwich, yeah. Yeah. That is a mix of cream cheese and truffle. Oh, I see. That's what it is. It's a mix of the two. So, because it's cold, uh, the truffle has enough time to give flavor to the cream cheese. Mm. Let me, uh, let anything. me uh, grab outside. Let me open. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. All right, so here it is. And we have a beautiful view. You have to show what the view we have. It's Hello, sunset. Over here. Yeah. Look what we see from here. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can see the Freedom Tower. Look uh, at that. Right during the Sunset. Freedom Tower right there. Right during and, Sunset. Uh, look uh, behind you. Wait, Check what we have behind. What? Oh, I actually never really realized that. It's the only street, uh, it's only two streets. Yeah. That you can see the Empire in one side. Right. And the Freedom Tower in the other. So we're at Sullivan Street here in Soho. And yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I never it's really this realized that. And next street. Because all the other streets are being covered. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? Oh, that's so smart. <laughs> all right. So, so go enjoy now. Walter, check out Ali Doro. Let's eat a sandwich. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. Bite into this. <laughs> Let's do it for the eating portion. Uh, after I'm live, I'll say I'll say bye. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't get to your questions. I didn't want to take too much of their time. Walter was so kind enough to invite me over, uh, but they do close at 4 p.m. and um, sometimes it can be very hard work, especially right during the weekends. So I don't want to take too much of their time, um, but. Look behind you of the orange building. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of cool buildings all around us. Yeah, it's a beautiful. 
So we're having two different sandwiches with some uh, sparkling water. So excited to try this. And I'm gonna try these truffle fries. Oh, so excited. Tr truffle potato chips. Ooh, okay. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I am hyped. Hyped for this. So hello, Hector. I am at Alidoro. Support your local small businesses. I covered these guys about three years ago on Facebook. They're really cool guys. I really enjoy them. That's why I wanted to give them a shout out. Walter has been watching my videos as well. He joined me when I did videos in London and when I did videos in uh, Madrid. And uh, so he's also been a fan of the show. So let me show you the sandwich. This is an awesome sandwich. Look how huge it is. So I got a massive sandwich. Uh, he gave me two sandwiches. Uh, one of them is uh, the, the truffle one. So it's arugula, truffle cream, artichoke, and I think this is uh, prosciutto. And the other one is with this homemade roast beef uh, and a special sauce that they make. I think it looks like it has some tomato in it uh, and it looks really good. This is one sandwich. I asked for half of one type and a half another type, but this is one entire sandwich size. So when you're buying a sandwich, uh, it's $12 or $12 to $15, but they're gigantic uh, and they're fresh because they take a big bite of each. And someone said, I'm going to get big eating all these sandwiches. <laughs> well, that's why I do a lot of walking. That's why I do four hour live videos. So let's try first the truffle is probably very strong. And they have a variety of breads. I asked for the softest one, which is the focaccia, but they have a variety of like different types of bread. I asked for the softest focaccia bread. All right, let's try this out. Mm. Wow. The bread is super soft. It's spicy. Not, they, they don't do that many spicy sandwiches, but they do have two or three of them that are spicy. And this one has a spicy kick, that sauce that he has. Spicy in a good way. Mm. <laughs> and, um, and the roast beef, he makes it fresh. So it's rare to find uh, a sandwich shop that makes fresh cold cuts and they're starting to make their fr uh, roast beef fresh and this is really really good wow amazing mm. Mm. the focaccia there's a thing with um, New York City sandwich shops and this happens a lot in america not all places have the same values as european places may be france or italy where there's a emphasis on never selling old bread but here in america sometimes they do sell old bread and a lot of places their sandwiches sometimes suck but these guys, what I enjoy about these guys is, as I mentioned, as Walter mentioned as well, they close at 4 p.m. They run out of a single bread. They ain't gonna, or uh, they ain't gonna sell you old bread. And you can tell this focaccia is fresh. So I'm gonna try another one. And finally he parked the, <laughs> he did. Who has the best pizza? The best pizza is in Best Pizza in Williamsburg. One of the best pizzas try before I buy it into the truffle one let's try this truffle fry very soft so watch out mm. very strong and truffle tasting wow mm. very strong truffle taste so this is Luke's organic truffle fries and it has truffle oil 
And they actually put real truffles as well, organic truffles, it says it in the ingredients. This is actually a really good potato chip. So it's gluten-free and soy-free. That's awesome. And peanut-free and no sugar added. So no sugar. Ah. I like when things don't have extra sugar. You know, I don't want sugar on my bread. I don't want sugar on my potato chips. So this is awesome. <laughs> so you'll be surprised in America how many things have sugar. And uh, I do appreciate when a company that's selling packaged food does not make it with sugar. The great... Potato chip. Now, before I buy into this uh, other sandwich, what is a truffle? Great question. A truffle is a mushroom, a mushroom that grows underground, and they usually need pigs or dogs to sniff it out. If you're someone who gets queasy easily, you might not want to search how truffles are searched, but I can assure you, they taste really good. It's really good. Uh, hello, Lori. They're super expensive, though. And truffles are very expensive, yeah. These potato chips were only $3. So that's that's a good deal for, for potato chips with real truffles. Uh, Queen, great question. Pubs in Wales, pouring down beer during the, uh, uh, down the drain, says uh, Carl. Oh, no. Uh, tartufo, yes, truffles tartufo in Italian. There's a lot of things with sugar, and it's crazy. Yeah, and that's a... Uh, U.S. is very guilty of doing that. Uh, there's many other countries in the world that do a lot of sugar and random stuff, and it's not necessary. And that woman has a uh, parking... Uh, that woman was parking, explains. I have no idea. It was someone taking a while parking there. And good bread is a must. Oh, indeed, it is. Your cheeks got pink. That sandwich looks as uh, tasty. Yeah, my cheeks got pink sometimes when I walk a lot. I end up getting pretty pink. Or if it's spicy, I end up getting pink as well. This is definitely not Subway, no. This is on Sullivan Street and Prince Street in Soho, New York. Ali Doro. Ali Doro, I will post the address in the comments afterwards, both on Facebook and on YouTube. All right. I guess uh, softer bread. I like softer bread. It makes the sandwich eating, uh, sandwich eating experience a bit easier. Let's try the truffle one with truffle cream and arugula. It's windy. All right, let's try this out. Mmm. Mmm. Took a photo of me. So, this is really good. It's a lot softer sandwich. More softer tasting. It's a cold sandwich, both of them. The truffle cream is really good. Uh, combined with the prosciutto and the soft bread. Oh, this is just a very nice, homey sandwich. I really enjoy it. Yeah, really, really good. Mm. 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 Yeah. Really good. Right. Highly recommend it, guys. Ali Doro here in New York City. They also have a shop in Midtown, and I think they still have the shop underneath um, Rockefeller Center. So check it out. Really good sandwich. Uh, ha yes, I've never tried truffles either. Does it taste like cheese? Truffle tastes like um, similar tasting to blue cheese in New York City. And um, before I head out, Walter, are you guys still open underneath uh, Rockefeller Center? Yes. Okay, so Rockefeller Center, after you see the Christmas lighting, Go underneath and you'll have a good sandwich. Yeah. Until 4 p.m., right? Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know. It, it should be. I don't know if they change the time now. Okay. They may be. Okay. I'm not sure. So double check. I'll, I'll let everyone sure, know in the yeah. comments afterwards. Thank you so much again for inviting me over, man. <laughs> it was a great, great sandwich. I really enjoyed that, especially the spiciness oh, that you, you have like here. It. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's actually... We make it. That's the spicy mustard that we make it. Spicy mustard? Oh, interesting. Oh, yes, that's, that's why, why we make it that. That's why it has a good kick to it. Yeah. Okay. Ali Doro in Soho. Keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. Have a good day, guys. I'm going to finish this right after this. <laughs> Is Walter just standing there watching me? No, he was greeting someone that was outside. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>